Hello, Brian Hogg here, and I thought I'd do a quick video on Beaver Themer. And this is a, basically a first look video as I've only installed the plugin, but I haven't actually used it. So Beaver Themer is an add-on to the Page Builder plugin. I don't think you need the theme version, just the plugin. And it essentially, from what I can gather, allows you to create a layout for things like a blog page or a custom post type. So then that way you're not, you know, recreating a layout on each individual page or post that you need it. You can just do it once and it'll go across. So the only way you could do that before is by editing PHP files in your theme. So I've installed the plugin. I've got the Beaver Builder plugin and uh, a module that I created, but also the Beaver Themer right here. So I've got that installed and not 100% sure. So I'm assuming builder. So I'll head there. And I'm doing this on a live site because what could possibly go wrong on a live site? So if I do add new, I do have a backup with WP Engine, so it's fine. All right, so, um, so add new builder content using the form below. So assuming, so template. So I'm not sure the difference between theme layout and template saved row. So a module would be uh, uh, something you could drag in to your page layout. Uh, saved row, I'm assuming would be either one row or a row with multiple columns and certain content in it. But yeah, theme layout and template, I'm not 100% sure what the difference would be. So why don't I try test theme layout. Uh, so actually, does that give me different options? Okay, so maybe with theme layout. Okay, so it'd be for the header, footer, archive, singular, 404, or part. Okay, so maybe I'll do uh, 404 since I haven't actually customized the 404 yet. All right, so this is a 404. I'm gonna show this for all users. And there's nothing to view yet. I wonder what would show up there. Maybe it would just show the default 404 page. Okay, so it gives you their default layout, which actually looks pretty good. But now if I do launch page builder, I'll be able to customize this, I'm assuming. So there's a lot of plugins that can do 404 layouts. So it's nice that this will just give it to you for free without needing a, a separate plugin. All right, so it looks like it's also used the fonts that I already have. So let's carry that across. This is using the default styling. And maybe I'll add, maybe I'll reduce the size of this a bit. I actually remove this just to get rid of it. And then I'll actually add a row layout, a couple columns. And just add a note on either the shortcode plugin. Actually, maybe I'll add them as buttons. Okay, so assuming this just takes effect, so there's my theme layout. So I'm on FL theme layout, test theme layout. I guess, yeah, if I go back to edit theme layout, I'm assuming I'll go back to this page. Okay, so it's a 404 type. It's shown to all users, and there's no way to change if I say made a mistake with which type that I had selected on, there's no way to change that after the fact. Um, so, all right, so I've got this. So maybe I'll just rename this to 404 layout and update it. And let's just see if, I'm assuming since I've selected all users, this should just show up automatically if I put in a 404 page. Yep, it does, so sweet. So I've done my 404 layout, that's nice. Um, let's see if I can do another theme layout. Now I'm wondering if I can edit, say the blog layout. 
So I'm not sure if that would be a template or, you know, that I'll use when I'm creating a new, so that's a bit weird too. So if I go to templates, uh, there's none here. So if I go add new, I'm assuming it's just going to select templates. Yep. As the default there, but I can, even when I go to templates, add new, I can still switch and pick a different thing. So that's no problem. So singular, I'm not sure if singular is going to be just for pages or for posts and part. I'm not really sure what that is. So uh, that could just be a part of the page, but it's not a module. So maybe it's a widget. So if I do singular there, maybe I'll do this blog post layout. But yeah, I'm not sure if that's gonna be for any blog post or page. So let's see. We'll test going to a page afterwards and seeing if it affects that as well. So singular, so location. Oh, there you go. Okay, so now I can pick whether I want singular, if I want post, post category tag. So I'll pick post, all posts there. Yep, so it's got my listing of blog posts and I can pick one if I want. And again, I can define it just based on some users. So if I view the theme layout, I'm assuming it's still in draft. Okay, so that's a nice, nicer looking kind of title, but still huge, so I might reduce that. Uh, it's got the author bit. Okay, so I think I'll want to edit that a bit. And actually, I think I got a, just got a page builder. So I'll pick launch page builder there. So again, I can reduce the size of this. Fixed, advanced. Just so it's just not taking up everything above the fold. It's a bit high. Um, and I'm assuming this would be no comments. So, okay, cool. So it doesn't let you really pick, uh, you know, which, yeah, post info settings. Okay. So it doesn't give you like a, a template based way of picking what post info and how it displays. Like I can't uh, change the delimiter from a slash, I don't believe, and stuff like that. Style, no order, advanced. Okay. So it gives you the order. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, I can't, can't make it a dot or a tilde or something like that in between, but at least if I don't want to, cause I don't have comments enabled, which might be good actually to hide that by default. If I don't have comments enabled, which I don't believe I do, I might actually, I'll double check. So I'll hide that, uh, hide the terms. Cause I don't actually, I'll hide that. That hides it by default and author can hide that, I don't need that. But the date, I can leave. There we go. So I might actually change this to the brain color as well. Hit the style. So it's got photo, but there are no, is no photo by default. So it's kind of weird, uh, but I will do F530. So got the hex code memorized. Hit save. Cool, so that matches the branding there. Yeah, just a lot nicer spacing. So this is posted in tutorials. Oh, there you go. So you've got a, they've got some short codes, WPBB, and you can change the separator. So I could probably do something similar to this for the post info. I just have to look up in the documentation what short codes are available and what the format would be. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna delete this. I'll delete this horizontal rule, delete this one. And remove that because I don't need it. And I'll actually remove the comment thing as well. So I'm essentially customizing the post layout in exactly the same way that I would a normal page template. And just by hitting done and publishing it, this should then be appearing for all of my blog posts. So if I hit blog, yeah, so there's my individual things. How to add custom tags. And there you go. So it's actually showing that layout now for all posts that I have on the site. But if I go to say an individual page or a testimonial page, yep, so these are just pages as opposed to posts. 
they show up in the same way they did before. Same with pricing. Good to go. And same with my homepage. Great. So if I head back to the admin, um, so what other options do I have? Add new. Yeah, so I could customize the header and the footer a lot nicer. Actually, let's check that out. So right now I've got one of the Beaver theme header layouts. But let's see how this looks. And I wonder if it just pulls in. Nope. So it completely changes and even adds this like number and stuff. It'd be nice if it just pulled in because I'm using the Beaver theme. It'd be nice if it just pulled in the settings that I had for the Beaver theme. And then uh, so it looks the same. And then I could just customize it from there as opposed to completely overwriting it and needing to, to essentially start from scratch. But if I launch the page builder, and so here I'd be able to essentially add the logo if I wanted, so that's uh, H1. Yeah, it's not even using the font that I had before, but that's fine. I mean, it basically allows you to rejig where everything is. It's got the little hamburger icon if it's responsive, so if it's on mobile. It allows you to change the alignment, submenu drop shadow, right? So it's got all the settings now in, you know, essentially a page builder layout as opposed to needing to go into the customizer, you know, kind of sift down, find the header settings, change them. You do see a preview afterwards, but again, it's not the same kind of page builder interface that you've got. Now these, I can't, so I wonder if that's in the row settings perhaps. Uh, there's the color, advanced. No, nope, so I'm not seeing a way to edit and remove this uh, phone number, this kind of fake phone number and email address. Oh, there you go. Okay, so I kind of have to come at it from the side to be able, and it's still highlighting that row as well there. Um, but yeah, it does then allow me to to change this to whatever I want. So yeah, that's a bit awkward for sure. Because if I'm here, I can't, I can't get to it at all. But if I kind of come at it from the side, I can. And same with these icons as well. I can then change them. Adds the icon. Um, so that's edit icon. It doesn't give me the link for each one. So if I, maybe I can edit icon. and that Yeah, okay. So if I edit the icon, then that gives me the option for the link. Cool. Uh, but again, yeah, if I come at it from the bottom, I can't edit that. So that could be a bit of a, a UI issue. Um, so I'm not going to uh, save. Yeah, I'm just gonna discard the changes and edit. I'll go through that later and see if I can uh, add that as a header. And let's just make sure that, whoop, let's just make sure that, uh... nope, so I got my same layout and I'm good to go. So now I could add one more layout. Yeah, so I could customize the footer. And let's do the archive. Because I think it would look a little better with a bit of styling. So location. I want the post archive only. Let's view the theme layout just to see how it looks by default. Cool. So it's really just posts at the top it's got an image, it shows that off to the side, but I've only added that to the one, which I should probably add two more, and it adds the posts here. So the other thing would be adding a template, which essentially would allow me to have a template that I would use for a page, and then have that pull in. All right, so I'm not sure what the template, okay, so it's just blank to begin with. Uh, and it doesn't give me the option like it did before. So before I go, actually, no, I don't think it did. Yeah, so I'd have to actually launch the page builder to be able to edit it. All right, so now, let's see if I just do maybe a two button, I'm not sure. What I do so I'm assuming if I got a bunch of pages, I can change this and set it for the layout for those pages, and then 
I'm assuming that I'd be able to then, I guess, edit this template and it would reflect on all of the pages that it's on. So, I mean, I could try just maybe adding a random photo in there. Uh, maybe a content area. HTML. Now this might just be the similar to a row layout. Test content, save, uh, done, so publish. So since this is a template and I haven't applied it anywhere, shouldn't do anything. So now how do I actually use it? So if I go back, uh, so there's templates. So maybe if I add a page, now it will give me the option to use that template, possibly. Page builder, so now it's gonna launch. Ooh, that's weird. Uh, okay, so layout, so you can do a blank or you can do the test template. And now I guess, yeah, so now at this point, it's copied that in and I can edit stuff. I could probably add, yeah, I can add a new row layout, maybe a four column underneath, just to have something there, a button. Nope. Just to have something different, so done. Let's publish that. Now it didn't give it a title yet, so it says post. 4962 and now I'm assuming that if I go back into the admin and if I edit that oh sorry it's under templates now if I edit that template I'm assuming it's not going to affect the page that I just created with that template cuz they're not kind of linked together at all so if I publish that so this would allow me to create a template that I can then create other pages with. But if it was kind of layout where I wanted the content of the post to show up in a certain location and then have other elements around it and then modify that template to then affect all the pages that have been created with that layout, I don't think I'd be able to do that with this. So if I go, I think that would be more of a theme template which I would enact on to a post, 4962, I think. Yeah, so that's just uh, exactly, I've taken that template, edited it, and now if I edit the template later, it doesn't affect this. So yeah, I just need to create a new theme layout, affect it, or have it on for either a certain custom post type or page. And then that way, when I edit that, it would affect all those pages that are using either that custom post type or the page. So yeah, there's there's Beaver Themer. So pretty quickly, I've been able to customize the theme and change the look of things. I can create a template very easily. It's a lot less uh, clunky than it was before where I could uh, duplicate a page in a certain layout and then kind of somehow chunk it over into the other uh, I'd say a new page or a new post. Definitely a lot cleaner to create the templates and stuff in this way. And yeah, there's some more advanced stuff which I haven't gotten into, but there's some field connections, which I'm assuming are the short codes that we saw before. And that's kind of how it works. So I think definitely worth it. Uh, you can use it on a limited amount of sites once you buy the license. And uh, if you're creating websites for other people, I think this would be a good way to go. Um, the other thing would... I guess be saving these templates to move over into another site. I didn't see an option for that uh, anywhere. So if I go to Builder, Saved Modules. Yeah, so I'm not sure how I would then take these templates over into another site. So that might be the last thing that would be good to see, but perhaps it's in the documentation somewhere. So there's the intro and uh, Hope you enjoy Beaver Themer if you decide to give it a try.